Hello, this is Victor Campos. Let's continue our Android app development in HTML5. On our previous videos, I talked about downloading and installing JDK, downloading and unzipping your Android development tools, and then downloading and unzipping your PhoneGap 2.9.0 uh, framework. So after we've downloaded and installed all of that stuff, I'm going to go back to the folder where I unzipped my ADT bundle, the Android development tools. That's what we got from developer.android.com. Open up that folder, and in there you've got an SDK manager, an Eclipse folder, and an SDK folder. Let's look at the SDK manager. Double-click it, and what should happen is uh, an app should load up with a bunch of uh, uh, software packages and such. If for some reason your Android SDK manager does not load up right away, come back for the next video where I talk about Eclipse to get around this problem. There's some weird thing that is preventing you from opening it, but there's a solution. If this worked for you on the first try, you should get this list of basically this is all of the code that is the Android operating system. Android is great because it's open source. Google, the owners of Android, publish the various tools and code that allow anyone to create an Android application. And the Android SDK program is what allows us to manage the code. Notice we've got Android 4.4.2 all the way back to Android 1.5. So the latest version of the code is 4.4.2. When I started up my uh, SDK manager, it recommended that there are four packages to update. For example, it shows you should update your Google USB driver and it's checked on. It also recommends you should update your Android SDK tools to revision 22.6 and a couple of other items here and there. SDK platform, Intel Atom. So you should always do the updates that it recommends for our class, in addition to doing the updates, I recommend also to select to turn on and download the Intel x86 Atom system image. The reason is later on when we work with virtual devices, you might see that your virtual device runs very slowly on your computer. And that's for a number of reasons. Perhaps you don't have enough RAM, perhaps you have an older CPU. Uh, one of the ways to speed up your, your virtual device is to install the Intel x86 Atom system image. Because most Android devices, most real Android devices, run a different type of CPU, a different brain is in them compared to your home computer or laptop. Your home computer probably has an Intel CPU or maybe an AMD CPU. And the one that runs on your mobile device is an ARM CPU. It's a different type of brain. So to help speed things up a bit, I recommend selecting and installing the Intel x86 Atom system image. And also, under the extras, you'll see Intel x86 Emulator Accelerator. In download that, select it, and also uh, set it to install click the install it'll ask you a confirmation screen go ahead and confirm and then it'll give you the latest version of the software that's what we're going to use in Eclipse in the next video to actually start creating our app so after you've updated your software here selected your Intel Atom system image and the accelerator you need to install the accelerator so I'm going to exit the SDK manager I'm going to go back to the folder where I launched the SDK manager. I'll open my SDK folder, then my extras folder, Intel folder, hardware accelerated execution manager folder, and finally the Intel hardware acceleration uh, manager. You want to double click and run that software and it'll install the sort of like a, a speed boost for your virtual devices when we get to that. So that's what you need to do to start setting yourself up to work with 
uh, and the Android tools. In the next videos, we'll talk about creating a virtual device if you don't have an Android device, and then using Eclipse to start actually creating our app. So see you then.